So for this tutorial, we are going to take a look at uh, transformations of sinusoidal functions. And so the sinusoidal function that I'm going to use is something along these lines. y is equal to 2 times the sine of 3x minus 30 degrees minus 1. Now, when we do a transformation, of a trigonometric function, something you want to keep in mind is the standard form for transformed using the a, k, p, and q notation would be this is a sine of k x minus p plus q. So we're going to use those values a, k, p, and q and we're going to use them in conjunction with the idea that any point x, y can be transformed according to x divided by k plus p a y plus q so we're going to use these values now in this case what does this become x divided by k becomes x divided by the k value in this case is equal to 3 plus now the p value you have to be careful the p value uh, we expect it to be x minus p in the equation. So in this case, it's x minus 30. So that means my p value is actually positive 30 degrees. And then it's going to be a. The a value here is 2. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by the y value plus our q value, well, it's going to be plus, but we've got a minus 1 here, so this is actually plus negative 1, which we could easily write as simply negative 1 or minus 1. So there's the transformations that are going to take place. Now, in order to do this, we need some points to work on. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the graph that we're going to work from. So let's that's as far as the equation that's it we really have all the information we need from the equation I shouldn't need to refer to it again so let's take a look at uh, just a basic graph of sine so I'll lay this in here so there is there's the graph for sine now when we do a transformation when we graph something like sine we normally want to graph what are known as key points and we normally do that over one full period. Traditionally, we start at 0, 0, and then we hit the maximum back to the axis of the curve, minimum, and the axis of the curve again. Those are the five key points for the, for the parent function, or at least for one cycle of the parent function. And so those points, each of those sets of coordinates, we can transform them using the transformation of a, k, p, and q that I've outlined here. So I'm just going to do them right on top of the graph. I'm actually going to graph this. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how clean we can keep it, but I have another one set up to go. So let's take a look at the first point. The point 0, 0 is going to become, and then so what do we get in that case? It's going to be 0 over 3 plus 30 degrees, and 2 times the y value, which is 0, minus 1. And so that point, 0 divided by 3 is 0, plus 30 degrees is 30 degrees, and 2 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. So our first point is going to be at 30 degrees and negative 1. Now, I tried to choose a scale that worked here. So if this is 90 degrees, 